Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are going over a couple of ways to get your hands on more DIY recipes in New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as you know, DIY recipes are those little cards we find dotted around the New Horizons Island that teach us new crafting recipes so we can craft all kinds of new things like furniture, clothes and tools. And I've been asked a few times now how to get more of these DIY recipes and where to find them. And actually, this is something I wasn't too sure on myself. I've also been wondering lately how people have so many more cool items than me. So I've done a little research and tested a few things out and put them all in this video to help out those of you that may need it. So let's get to it. Number one, message in bottles. Now this may come as a surprise to you, but every single day, two message in bottles spawn on our islands. If you walk around and check the beaches, you will eventually stumble across one, which will of course include a lovely letter from a faraway villager, along with a handy DOI recipe. But if you check again later that day, you'll find a second message in a bottle. The reason why this goes unnoticed for the most part is these bottles basically spawn 12 hours apart. The first spawns at 6am at the start of a brand new day and the second, assuming your character has seen or collected the first, will spawn somewhere on your island at 6pm. I've seen a few people talking about this recently and we were discussing it on our Discord the other day so I decided to test it out and sure enough, I got two bottles. Some people claim they can find the first bottle as late as the afternoon and still find a second in the evening but for me, waiting 12 hours worked every time. But what about you? Do you often find two message in bottles every day? Let us know in the comments. Number two, villagers. Another easy way to get your hands on more DIY recipes is to check up on your villagers. If you see the lights on and the curtains open in a villager's house, or even if the house has smoke coming out of their chimney, be sure to pop in and see what they're up to. There's a good chance they will be working hard at their crafting bench. If you talk to them, they will eventually ask you if you're interested in learning what they're making, which will of course prompt them to hand over the DIY recipe. The good thing about this is there are three chances every single day to obtain DIY recipes from villagers crafting away inside their houses. Assuming you have enough villagers on your island, at least one villager looks to always be crafting in the morning between 6am and noon. A second villager will then be crafting sometime in the afternoon, which looks to be between noon and 6pm. And finally, a third villager will be crafting sometime during the evening, most likely between 6pm and midnight. These are the rough times based on where most people are finding them. A couple of things to note here are, there's no guarantee the DIY recipes you receive will be new. Every now and then they will hand over one you already know. In which case, give it to a friend or sell it at Nooks. Another thing worth mentioning is, it doesn't matter if your villager doesn't appear to have their own crafting bench in their home. When it comes to crafting something, they will place their crafting bench in their home. I'm not sure why they don't have it out all the time, but I guess it's so it doesn't ruin the feng shui. So yeah, I didn't realize this until looking into it, but we can find three DIY recipes per day just from villagers, so I hope this helps some of you out. Number three, amiibo. So this is something that took me longer to realize than it probably should have. If you've already built the campsite, you can scan in pretty much any Animal Crossing villager amiibo at the Nook Stop in resident services and immediately invite them to the campsite. Once scanned in, you can head to the campsite and chat or play games with the traveling villager. The key point here is they will often tell you that they love your island so much and that they want to take a souvenir home with them when they leave and ask you to craft something for them. And if they request a furniture item you don't have, they will provide you with a DOI recipe. It may be slightly more time consuming than getting your hands on other DOI recipes, but if you do it every day, it soon becomes part of your daily rounds. Again, there's no guarantee they'll ask for something new, but eventually they will. Number four, Mystery Island Tours. This is an obvious one, but if you buy a Nook Miles ticket and redeem it at Dodo Airlines, you can of course set out on a Mystery Island tour. Whilst on the tour, simply do the rounds and check all the available beaches to see if a message in a bottle has washed up ashore. As we know, message in bottles gives us a DOI recipe, which we can either learn or sell. Unfortunately, even when visiting a Mystery Island, there won't always be a message in a bottle. Based on some testing, it seems to be about a 50-50 chance. 
So if you happen to be heading out to an island tour, by all means double check and you might get your hands on a new DIY recipe, but generally it's up to you if you think spending 1200 nook miles is worth it if you're only looking for recipes. So basically the previous methods we mentioned earlier make more sense unless you're already going on a tour. Number 5. Multiple Residents so if getting your hands on 6 or more DIY recipes isn't enough for you, there's a sneaky trick that will yield even more recipes per day. You simply have to have a second resident. In my campsite I have a second player which originally I moved in so I could have an extra tent in my campsite, but it turns out they have another use. Once you've finished up with your main character, boot up the second resident and they'll be able to find their own DIY recipes from message in bottles. These bottles will be unique to the player which will contain different letters and different DIY recipes. Of course if like me your second player is just there for decoration, drop the recipe outside your main house and they can learn it instead. The second resident can also talk to villagers in their houses who are crafting at their benches but they will give you the same DIY recipe they gave the main character so really the second resident is only good for 2 extra bottles per day. Which if we total up to now excluding possible random recipes from island tours is at least 8 DIY recipes per day so far. Of course the more residents you have the more bottles you'll find but there's the added chance of finding duplicates. Multiple residents have additional benefits though, for example back in Mayday, second residents could also redeem Mayday tickets and get Rover's briefcase, so I think it's always a good idea to have one moved in, just so you can get extra event items as well as bonus DIY recipes. But let us know how many players you have moved in to your New Horizons island, it'll be nice to see what's most popular. Number 6. Balloons this is probably the most obvious of all and everyone knows by now but it is possible to find DIY recipes inside balloons that float across the sky. It seems to me that the balloons generally drop more seasonal related recipes such as cherry blossom DIY recipes or more recently the bamboo recipes depending on which hemisphere you're in. So just make sure you're always carrying a slingshot and if you see a balloon pop it and hopefully you'll come across a new DIY recipe. Number 7. Trash that's pretty much it for getting extra generic DIY recipes, so now we're looking into finding more specific DIY recipes. So it turns out if you fish out enough trash from the rivers and sea, including tires, boots and cans, you'll eventually teach yourself DIY recipes for the trash furniture set including the wallpaper, flooring and a thumb piano, strangely enough, and a few other bits and pieces. As you can see I have a trash room in my house, it's not the nicest but a must have for those looking to complete their catalogues. Of course it can take a while to collect the amounts of trash needed, but if you happen to come across the trash mystery island, be sure to spend a while there and fill your pockets with as much trash as you can carry. This should be enough to unlock all the trash DIY recipes. In the meantime for those that don't regularly go on mystery island tours, just keep fishing as much as you can if you're looking for those recipes. Number 8. Wands the next item specific recipes you might be searching for more of are wands. If you're looking for wands recipes in particular, you obviously need to keep your eyes out for Celeste who randomly visits your island. I've met her a few times now and it seems like it's around once per week, but I'm not sure. Either way, if you do see her and speak with her, she'll give you a new DIY recipe for either special zodiac items or special wand recipes. Personally, I'm really looking forward to receiving the tree branch wand because it reminds me of Farley from the GameCube, so that's a nice throw bag. Now we all know we can get cool items from Celeste, but you can get extra recipes even if Celeste isn't on your own island. If you find out a friend has Celeste visiting theirs, simply drop by and speak with her there and she'll still give you a recipe, which is pretty cool. Of course the same can be said for additional residents on your own island, which is another perk of having multiple players. Number 9. Medicine Another item specific DIY recipe that may come in handy if you haven't discovered it already is the medicine recipe. You can use the medicine to cure bee stings or to help make sick players feel better. So to obtain the recipe you simply need to talk to villagers while you have a bee sting. So shake a bunch of trees until you get stung and then talk to your villagers and one of them will eventually give you the DIY recipe. Sometimes it's really annoying going back and forth to nooks and buying medicine so it's definitely nice to have the recipe. Number 10. Pitfall 
So to finish things off, if you're looking for the classic pitfall in New Horizons, you'll have to wait until you've found the recipe. The recipe can be found in any of the methods we previously mentioned, however it turns out it doesn't show up until you've already learned at least 100 other recipes. So it's not really a way to obtain extra recipes, but I thought we should include it because it's one of the few recipes that has certain requirements before we can find it. I didn't know this personally, so I'd like to thank 8BitBish on Instagram for sharing that, so be sure to give them a follow. So there we have it, that's 10 ways to find extra DIY recipes in Animal Crossing New Horizons. The first few methods will definitely help you increase the amount you find on a daily basis, while the last few will help you find a few item specific recipes, which I thought we should include for the sake of completeness. The biggest surprise for me was definitely discovering we have two bottles per day per player, but let me know which of these you didn't know, if any, I'd love to know. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. If you'd also like to support the channel for as little as $1 a month, please check out the rewards at www patreon.com forward slash mayamori. It really helps the channel out so much and helps me to continue making these videos. Of course, don't forget to head over to our Discord server too and if you got this far in the video, please comment bottles just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome and please be sure to include any other helpful tips you may have for finding extra DIY recipes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day, stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.